Hey guys, um, looks like I'm just going to post this video just about like what we talked about the other day. We are going to do a multi-generational, multicultural um, service. Um, I will be doing the gathering. Uh, Nathan's uh, doing the word sermon. Um, if Kenneth is there, he's going to be doing the, uh, the table part uh, with um, the other stuff. For communion and then uh, Christopher is going to be doing the sending um, so a couple of the questions here uh, what about your people made you choose your particular worship style um, when me and Nathan and Christopher talked we talked about um, the fact that uh, that Christopher has a Spanish church down in Indianapolis and uh, we all have uh, multi-generational uh, churches so a wide span of people from younger to older the other thing is, uh, while well, we felt that uh, in our culture that um, that it's good to have something multicultural um, to include people, uh, I know that we have a couple of Spanish-speaking people in our um, services too, and they do very well to to they feel welcome. We want to do that. We want to open our doors to people um, of all races, of course. So. Uh, the idea uh, behind that with us three was that uh, that we would do that. Um, what about the people who made you choose your particular biblical mode? Um, I think Nathan from the start has said Acts 9, and, and it's a good one to use and be able to um, just uh, to, to build off of. So um, with Paul, or who was Saul, um, and how he was uh, interacted by Jesus, um, and, and really... Um, you know, just kick back off of his horse, even so. Um, it's it's a good uh, good section of scripture. The other thing, uh, describe the proportions of artistic streams you're scheduled. Um, when we went through, we have all uh, several modes. I don't think we're into the art very much. I don't know what the other guys are doing. I know for mine, for the gathering, uh, it's going to be music and um. We're going to use the cross as uh, the back setting, uh, which is the way it is in my church. At least that's the way I'll run the things that I have uh, to focus on that. Um, I know that we have, um, uh, what is it, media that we'll use also that will help lead the song. So those things will be used. Um, like I said, we, uh, when I when I did my Dropbox, we have uh, three songs we're going to do. Uh, how Great Is Our God, it's going to be the world version, so that it has Spanish and several other languages also, plus English. Um, and then we have, uh, it looks like, uh, three, two other songs, which I um, can't remember what they were right offhand. But anyways, um, we know that that's uh, two other songs. My thing was to lead in with um, using a little bit of the scripture and talk about, um, I believe Paul talks about the Holy Spirit or it says, why, why do you kick against the goads? So in, in those, uh, from what I understand, are little prick rods that uh, that they would use in, in that pricking of the Holy Spirit. So I would uh, bring up a story of how, how that is how cows are prodded to move. And, um, and that's really what the Holy Spirit does with all of us. And so if we kick against that, and that's what Saul did before before Christ knocked him down and blinded him and said, you know, why are you persecuting me? So I think it's huge to, to just understand that, you know, God is calling everyone. Uh, I don't believe he plays favorites. The Bible says he doesn't. So uh, I would mention those kind of things as I build, and I'll build something up um, more specific to be able to, to talk about um, the Sunday that I uh, get up, which will probably be this week, um, part, of, part of the service. And then... Um, so then to ready our hearts, because I think that's the biggest thing for me is I've, I've kind of put in most of my posts that um, it's it's a placement of the heart. And if our hearts aren't right, then how can we worship God? And, and I deal with that daily. And sometimes I walk into Sunday service and I just feel totally unworthy. Um, even just behind the drum set, um, when I play drums, I just feel like I just don't feel worthy to even be here. So I have to lay down those things that uh, the week as it was, uh, the sins of the flesh that have, have happened and and uh, accept the forgiveness of God and get my heart right to, to worship Him and rejuvenate and um, be ready to go back out into the dirty world. It's just dirty. And so um, as we sing these songs 
you know, to focus on Christ, to to get ready, um, to, to be back out in the world, because what we are is we're about the kingdom. We're not about um, even ourselves, and um, even though we have our human side and it is selfish. So it's, it's a battle. Uh, I tend to think that uh, the three things we fight against are uh, the world, our flesh, and Satan, or his demons. And so we have three huge enemies. And uh, God is bigger than all of them. The Holy Spirit is too, and more powerful. Um, but uh, anyways, the last one, uh, D here, it says, Describe the proportions of learning modalities uh, um, engaged among activities. And so these would be the things, you know, um, I would want people to just ready their hearts. And, and by talking about that and then singing the songs and then and then having a prayer pr prior to the sermon or the greeting time or whatever, you know, each church has, that'll be my part. And, and that's what I'll do. Um, and the songs actually for our Sunday won't be these ones, but these are the ones that we would build if we're going to do this. And I think that's what we're doing is just the model. I will actually probably do this, though. Uh, before the people and ask for time to do that so that and, it, and I'll record it and put it up so that's all I got uh, hopefully that's sufficient on the video I know it's a six minute video so hopefully it's not too long thanks see you